Hey everyone, welcome to MS Textbit from Tales from the Field. So today I'm going to be discussing one of your topic that is on your top of your mind, cost and licensing of fabric. Oh, what what am I going to pay for the fabric? What am how are my licensing going to be work? So if you want to hear and understand how the licensing and the costing work, please head to the new MS Textbit for the, this week. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the Tales from the Film. If it's your first time coming to the show, please like and subscribe to the button at the bottom of the screen. We at Tales from the Field have three shows, Mondays, Tuesdays and Wednesdays. On Tuesdays, we go live at 1 p.m. EST talking about data community. We share the blogs, videos and other things that you have shared to the data community and bring it up to the data community. On Mondays and Wednesdays, we create MS Textbit videos. Uh, these are videos that are created based on uh, the new technologies, new roadmaps or something that you want, want to learn in future. So if you want to hear something more about it, head to the new today's MS Textbit. Hey everyone, welcome to Tales from the Field MS Textbit. So today we are going to discuss licensing and costing of Microsoft Fabric. Before we get started, I have a great news for you. So the great news is that Microsoft Fabric is free till July 31st. If you want to use Microsoft Fabric uh, and play around with it, till July 31st, there is no cost to you. So enjoy the free subscription. If you want to know how to get your free subscription or your free trial, please check out the show that we have created during the build launch uh, that will show how to get your free trial activated. So now let's head to the Microsoft documentation where it shows you what type of licenses are available and what is the capacity for each of the licensing. So if you go to MS Learn, uh, you will see the licensing page. I'm going to share the link in the, uh, in the link below. This shows you how to go over Microsoft Fabric licensing. I'm just going to go over the, all of these components one by one, but this is how it explains you how, how the licenses and the capacities and the SKUs will be working on it. Uh, there are also options for individual licensing, free licensing, pro licensing, and this is how it uh, completely shows you up here. So now let's talk about the Microsoft Fabric components. The Microsoft Fabric component is consists of three main things. One is the tenant, second is the capacity, and the third is the workspace. A tenant is the foundation of the of the Microsoft uh, Fabric subscription. It has very specific domain name. When you buy the capacity, you get created a, a, a domain name along with your tenant in it. Usually, uh, there is one tenant per, uh, per, per organization. Now let's talk about capacity. Capacity is basically uh, resides in, one, in, in the tenant level. Each capacity has a specific distinct pool of resources uh, assigned to the Microsoft Fabric. The size of the capacity depend, determines the compute power that you will be having in Microsoft Fabric and that, uh, that is very key for you to understand the capacity and the SKUs. We will be discussing the capacity and the SKUs in a few moments. Now let's talk about workspace. Workspace basically is a part of the capacity. Every, every individual users get a workspace which is their private place where they can work on it and uh, they, they have a different capacity for each and every workspace. The capacity is shared between multiple workspaces and the user has to share between this uh, different, uh, every users who are in different uh, workspaces would have to share this cap capacities. So now let's discuss about capacity and the SKUs. Capacity is a dedicated set of resources that you get when you enable your Microsoft Fabric uh, environment. Uh, these are different types of SKUs uh, starting from F2 to F all the way to F2048. Uh, basically, it's from two core, core units to all the way to 2048 units. We are also giving you a comparison between here uh, Power BI SKUs and Power BI V core licensing uh, in these scenarios. The ideal one when you enable your Power BI uh, Pro licensing or a premium licensing is your F64. That is what you get when you enable your F64 uh, or, or your Power BI licensing in there. Uh, we have also tried to go lower than it. So if somebody does not want to use that much capacity, you can go up to F2 level or you can go higher up to F62048. 
Also, I'm going to compare this out with the cost on uh, on this. So let me just share the costing part of it also. So these are the costing that you, uh, you can go from F2 level all the way to F2048. The F64, which is your idle power VR licensing, is around eight thousand uh, dollars capacity, which is sixty-four units capacity. Uh, currently, we have monthly pricing only, but reserve in uh, reserve pricing for three-year reserve or one-year instance that we have it in Azure would be coming up soon in uh, power, power in Microsoft Fabric also. Uh, these uh, pricings are all, uh, we do not have a calculator right now, but the car pricing calculator and how to cal calculate your capacities uh, that is also coming soon uh, in Microsoft Fabric uh, that will help you out uh, to understand the capacities that you will require for your environment. So now let me walk you through how to get your capacity in Microsoft Fabric. Uh, to get capacity, go to Azure portal and I'll just walk you through up there. So open portal.azure.com. And once you go in Azure, portal.azure.com, you can search in Microsoft Fabric and then create capacity feature. Uh, select, the re select the resource group that you want it to be in and then you can uh, give in the name, test capacity. And that's where you get by default is 60 F64. But when you go and change the size, you get all sorts of capacity up here along with the cost in there. This is how you can provision your Microsoft capacity uh, for fabric. Another question that we get is how do I go and check uh, my capacity? So you go login into Power BI Microsoft uh, Power BI dot Microsoft dot com, uh, and then if you go into your admin portal. Uh, you will see the capacity settings. The Power BI Premium, Power BI uh, Embedded Report still remains the same. Uh, this is where you can see the trial and then fabric capacity. If you have enrolled it up, you will see the fabric capacity right up here. Uh, this is how uh, you could be able to check it out. One thing that I did want to make sure that Power BI uh, Pro licensing remains the same. There is nothing uh, changing in there. Only thing that it changes is called now Power Fabric uh, license instead of Power BI Pro license. It's called Fabric Pro licensing. Uh, Power BI Premium also remains uh, the same, but it's converted to Fabric uh, Free Trial licensing right now. And that is how you can be able to use the same licensing uh, to get yourself working with Fabric. Hope you enjoyed this video. Looking forward for more uh, videos in the future. Uh, please like and subscribe us at the bottom of the screen. And see you soon.